Today, we're going to demonstrate aliasing, which is what happens if we violate the Nyquist theorem. I've invited our videographer, Justin, to participate in this next demonstration. Hey Justin, does your video camera capture data in digital form? Yes, it does. Oh, so it must have a sampling rate. So do you know what that sampling rate is? 24 frames per second. Ooh, so I wonder what happens if I rotate the motor at 12 rotations per second. I wonder what would happen. Oh, I guess it has to violate the Nyquist theorem, so we should see the aliasing effect. Ah. Stop talking, let's see it. Okay. So we're now at 1.3 volts and we're spinning at that rate. So I'm going to increase the voltage so it should spin faster. And it slowly spins up faster and faster. Okay. Ramping up. Ramping up to two frames per second, so two rotations per second, three, and steady at three. So we're still under the 12 rotations per second, so you should still see the blue dot. So let's go faster, see what happens. Increasing voltage from two to three volts so it should be speeding even faster. So we got six and rising. Let's go even faster. at four volts. We cranked up the voltage so the motor will spin very fast. As it spins faster and faster, watch the white spokes as they appear to first spin clockwise and then counterclockwise. Next, we cut the power and the motor will start slowing down. As it spins slower and slower, again, the spokes will appear to spin clockwise and then counterclockwise. What we have witnessed is aliasing. Aliasing occurs when the input signal oscillates at a rate greater than or equal to one half the sampling rate. In this case, the camera samples at 24 frames per second. So, any image moving at a rate greater than 12 times per second will get all messed up. Aliasing causes the apparent rotations per second to be different than the actual rotations per second. 